yeah, yeah. But that's why she's uh, that's why she's specifically looking at store manager because businesses have different <clears throat> sizes as well. Oh, we're live. We're live. Hello. Yeah. This is uh, a <clears throat> Socialics International Hangout number two. I'm here in this virtual studio with Ben Benjamin David. Hi. Uh, and Alf Alf to Sanger. Yeah, it's Sanger if you. Oh, sorry, Sanger. Let's right, silent T. Yeah, like the tsar, yeah. <laughs> Sanger. So, yeah, yeah, tsar. Sanger. Okay. I'll give it that. Uh, <clears throat> we, we're talking about socionics, which for those of you who are too mentally incompetent to have searched what it is before watching, it's a, a system of typology that's rather like MBTI, but with more stuff. And you've got to have more <laughs> like brains, otherwise you won't understand yeah. the bloody rubbish. Oh, so I'll, uh, so one of the rules, uh, unfortunately, I, I'm inhibited by by the uh, inability and prohibition of swearing. I don't want to say something else. But, um, is that, so it's 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 a form of psychology similar to MBTI for people who have a slightly longer attention span, like what I haven't got. <clears throat> so. Um, Without further ado, um, the the um, topics we were talking about, I believe, were uh, we were going to be discussing the erotic styles, whatever they are. I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, we changed it. Yeah, yes, we changed it. We we were talking about um, the uh, what's like what's the particular roles of of each sociotype, and there's a. a <clears throat> There was a, a, a heated discussion off air about what what type would be the best to be a store manager, or manager. Or just a of, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or other businesses that require a lot of people skills that um, I, I will use discretion not to mention. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we are we are looking at very many schools of socionics and. Other forms of typology that people who are uh, so many people within the world of socionics aren't ready to accept because they 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 will say oh they're so very really different because uh, Stephen how big are you or how big is that that leak in your house? Oh yeah, all oh, right, yeah, it's um I've got a leak, you know, just just to make sure it's running correctly. Um, <laughs> yeah. I know I, I'm actually I'm actually this actually this is an average size leak. I am the size of a twelve year old. Just to show that I I <laughs> because the the other person couldn't take my place. <laughs> um <clears throat> so I I I'm 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 the, I'm I'm the referee here. I'm not really part of this conversation. I uh, but um You are you you can yes. actually because you can talk about uh you can talk about the SJs in Kersey and their logistical intelligence. I think. Yeah, and then you know, I guess I was going to argue that you know, yes, there are parallels between Kersey as uh, you know ESPJ and you know, I mean there are parallels between you know socionics and and uh, well Kersey, but then on the when you look at the details, they aren't quite the same. I mean, well, yeah. In Kersey, will not necessarily be a you know an LSE in socialics, <sighs> and also depending on different schools, you know they will be, you know. Well, but I mean, like if we're assuming that the types really exist, then oh, yeah. we're sort of saying that they they are one type. It's just that they have would have different typings. It's if the if, if the types don't exist. And you you just have systems categorizing people at random, then yeah. But if someone is one type, yeah. But, you know, but I believe that there are, there are systems categorizing people at random because I mean, I don't people, believe that either. Yeah, but the other thing is, that, you know, we can't really. I guess you know, whenever we try to concatenate people to sixteen mm. boxes, we're going to, you know, we're not going to really reflect. People's actual essence, you know. Yeah, I mean, 
I mean, I mean, I look at another system. I look at Enneagram as well, yeah. and I, I see well. The, the, there, you can be at variance from. So, for instance, yeah. I, I am Robespierre. I am if we. I am supposed to be. Uh, most Robespierre's are any type five. I'm in any type four. So I'm willing to say that between those two systems, you can have a lot of variance. It's just that I I feel yeah. that uh, Zukov in Socionics, if you were to ask mm. yourself, okay, which MBTI type is that most similar to? And I would say ESTP. And when yeah, I, I, I... But but the other thing is that, you know, in Socionics, you know, Socionics is not even compatible between Socionics schools. And... It, Mm. I mean, Victor is actually talking about that too. It's because they're they're using different evidence to actually extrapolate their <coughs> that, That's right. Um, I, I, I'm not sure. I mean, they, I think Victor describes uh, Victor Ganenko describes Model A as something that people used in the 80s. Yeah. What do you call it, Stephen? Model A. <laughs> okay, the thing model, model model oh, sorry, you didn't <laughs> mean to say that. <laughs> Take your pill. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait, feature for that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, it's because yeah. people, people, people are too, who are too fixed to it. They, they're sort of. <laughs> yeah, but thing, but, you know, I don't know why there's so much animosity between you know, between such and circles. I, I I would think that it's because they're competing for. It's a business for them. Mm. They are professionals. Their yeah. livelihood is at stake. There's yeah, a but lot of competition. Still, uh, also, I don't get why. Also, why they don't get along. Also, because I mean, you know, I thought one of the things is that you know, I thought socialics was meant to be about understanding our differences, but then. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but these are rivals, though. These are like rival sports teams. They're mm -hmm. competing for funding and attention. I mean, you know, they are in competition. It's like different management firms being in competition with each other, trying to compete for business. Yeah, I mean, I do understand that, but still, their goal is meant to be... Plus, also, looking at things in academia, just like looking at books, there is a lot of competition between academics. There's a lot of egos involved <coughs> as well. Mm. So people, <coughs> people will be studying... What people have to understand is that socionics is a, a degree subject in some parts of the world. And are yeah, people going? To, mm, yeah, I do, yes. So, are people going to study in this school or the other school? And what is the right school? <laughs> uh, and we, we people who who are, who are not who aren't fluent in Russian are caught between well, limited resources and uh, yes. We rely on third hand information. <laughs> uh, Again, what are we talking about? It's, it's <coughs> um, socionics. Well, well, uh, we, I think we were getting into the subject of uh, compa comparability. Yeah, comparability yeah. between MBTI and socionics. Yeah, yeah, and you were saying that, that uh, socionics isn't. Yeah. Even compatible with itself because no, no, of these different no. schools. No. Yeah, it is, and it's not necessarily because you know other people are using you know are using bad socialics because that's the other thing. They're just using different evidence to model their theory. So they're you know they're forming slightly different types. I mean, you know sometimes you know the same person can be the same type you know between you know. Different socialists because then at other times they can be quite different, and also Victor was talking about you know how, how basically how basically how socialists have been insulting each other because you know they've been typing the same person differently. 
and they also they both believe that you know their yeah. methodology was the superior one. Yeah. But that's why Victor says that you know they're just using different you know different evidence. Oh yeah. Because I mean, because uh, uh, I mean, uh, yep. you know, Dmitry Pov, is it Pesinski or? I think he went by the name of Never Blood in uh, in a uh, World Socialist Society or oh. or oh, in his Facebook. Uh. Yeah, this. Is this Herbert? I, mean, I guess if you if you cannot read. Uh, uh, but anyway, he went to a recent conference, you know, by Victor, you know, uh-huh. and uh, that's when Victor was talking about how basically convergence was uh, was a was a use was a useless now in socialics because they are not really talking about the same except the exact same thing. Hmm. Huh. Oh uh, yeah. I just got a message from uh, <clears throat> another guest who isn't going to be a well, guest. Well, uh, I would I would say is that people have to not to get confused between that between the type and their typing. And that some schools have a better typing system than others. Mm. If someone is a different type in different systems, I would think, well, one of them is correct and the other ones are wrong. I don't see if someone can be in two different types. Yeah, but uh, I mean, initially that's a uh, that's an interesting hypothesis. But then the other thing is that you know when you closely study the you know the the constructs of their theories, then you realize that you know some of the differences in the they used actually to build their theory. I just make the the system compatible incompatible. They'd have to be very different. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I mean, some of the slight difference. You know, some, sometimes you know, the details can just you know, change the whole picture. I guess maybe because yeah. I'm a process type, I'm, I have an easier time actually accepting that. Hmm. So, I mean, when you are, Well, why I mean, do we have one viewer? I I don't get it. What? Pardon? Why do we have one viewer? Oh, these are just the people who are watching it live. But when it's on YouTube, we will have many more views because they will oh. aggregate over time. This will be a classic. <laughs> okay. Because we, 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 Stephen will hook it around and say, "Hey, look at this! The debut of Mr. Blessing, <laughs> Mr. Al." Yes. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, I am I, um, very much, open, when it's like Enneagram, I'm very much open to saying uh, any sociotype can pretty much be any, any type, although certain combinations are going to be really rare. <coughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm inclined to uh, agree with that, but. You know, Victor has been saying that you know uh, some. I think Enneagram Seven only. Uh, there's no way somebody who's an Enneagram Seven can be any other type other than ENTP. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hoo-hoo. Oh, we, oh. Might dis- we might disagree yeah, there. Yeah, strongly disagree. It's just any. It's just uh. perfect. I disagree there. That's an EP thing. That's his EP temperament is very much any type. Seven. Mm. Like there's loads of ESFPs. Blimey, there's evidence on every high street at night in the Western world about what ESFPs are motivated, what their any type is. Yeah. Whoa. Restricted to EP types because I, mean, I think linear types can be type sevens if oh, they yeah. are. Oh, oh yeah, any really? type, any type can be a type seven, but but it's usually a CP as. 
Yeah, because I mean, if you got strong creative traits, where you you're just interested in exploring new stuff and uh, oh yeah, and you're both an extrovert because you're social strength and if you're both an extrovert and uh, and a creative subtype. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah, uh. Yeah, I and think of course, they, they might have they <clears throat> might have t they might have fun in different ways. So yeah, I mean, there really needs to be some excellent studies on this, that, where they could say, okay, uh, maybe an ESFJ any type seven would be much more different from uh, ESFP any type seven, whereas the ESFJ's fun might be much more um, classier. <laughs> than the ESFPs. Um, you know, I guess yeah, that's like that. on how you. I guess I mean, if you mean Kurz is uh, ESFJs, then yes, they will be quite different. But then, I think you know, Victor C, you know, ESCs are not quite the same because I mean they're quite more. Well, no, I mean. I mean uh, they're the, like the Kersey ESFJ, but with a brain. <laughs> the, the <laughs> yeah, because, it's like, because it's like they have a second life when they're on their own and they're not using their FE and then the TI. And of course, TI is stronger in Model G than in Model A uh, because the suggestive function is stronger, is more competent in Model G than Model A. Uh, but, yeah, but, but not all ESFJs are closet intellectuals. Uh, but I certainly know some that are. Uh, I mean, I'm sure out there there are some closet intellectuals who are ESFPs. Somewhere. Okay. Um... I wonder if I'm talking too much. Mr. P has his mic off. Where is it? Uh... No, I had a mic off because so I was typing. I don't like ah, okay. I don't like people to hear any typing. In fact, I, I, I have a rule that I would eject, I would eject people if they're typing too much or Facebooking. But I can. Yeah. But I'm going to pretend that I'm not. <laughs> so I'm turning the camera off. Right, pushing my keyboard away from myself <laughs> to resist temptation. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is interesting subject of compatibilities between the systems. What do you think, Stephen, about differences between an MBTI INTJ and socialist Balzac? Well, you can oh. even look at socialist itself. Okay, go on then, Af. Yeah, because apparently Victor does frequently compare his socionics with uh, other people's. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's been, uh, you know, he he had that conference about nearly three months ago. Where you know, yeah. Tell on. Yeah, I think we lost one viewer. I don't know whether we're oh, boring people. We, 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 people will watch it once it's on YouTube. <laughs> Spill the beans, Alf. Good, I wasn't prepared for that. Okay. T tell us what Victor has been saying about other schools of socionics. Uh, well, I mean, besides the snippet, I. You know, I don't In want to general. feel like I'm really gossip because I don't really want to be. Well, no, no, it, 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 well, intellectually, what he says about them. Uh, well, I mean, I've never discussed uh, with him fully about it. Okay. Yeah, that's the other thing, because, I mean, it's... I guess uh, with uh, Tatiana, I, I guess when I, you know, when I sent him that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, the file I just sent you. Yeah. Uh, the one by Tatiana's He felt that, you know, it was interesting, but uh, it was inaccurate because, you know, the competence is went guaranteed. But pardon, what did you say? 
uh, the competence is not be guaranteed because I mean, just because somebody is an a is an LSE, it doesn't it does not mean that you know there will be there will be you know they will have all the competencies being associated associated with the type. Yeah, yeah, that that is a good point. That is a good point, but. And I mean, because I mean, with Victor, he also mentions that you know he's got uh, this, you know, he's got functional accentuation, uh, where yes. basically, uh, because I mean, competence is not guaranteed. So. Oh I yeah. Guess if, yeah. I mean, I would say in general, though. Uh, we could say that EJs would be good at that type of management, and that that, that particular job in question, we're talking about store manager. The the EJ temperament would be pretty good. And. Uh, if it's another business where something is more hectic, where there's more 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 variables, and people have to think on their feet more, uh, maybe. But you see, a lot of these businesses have blends of different people, and yeah, but I guess we're going. I mean, I don't understand that, but nevertheless, still, <laughs> all businesses are all, all about just making money and just getting the right people and then using people. Well, yeah, but say that about making money, but a lot of, I mean, there's a whole management industry, it's about, it's how to get, a lot of them think, well, it, it, providing the service in order to get money, but they think if they do these other things as well, Will also make money as the people will. People uh, also want a certain brand image as well, and they want to be seen as providing a good service. And the money is, yeah. like, like I say, like, like an ESFJ running the business might want to. They. they they want to be really liked by their customers as well. And yes, they want to make money, but it's also that they will like giving their customers a good service. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, um, if you've got an investor, they, but you know, with most businesses, you, the investor is not going to be interested in whether you know, you're know you providing good service or not. They just oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 make good well, yeah. or not. But I'm talking about from the, po from the point of view of the person who starts a business, certain kinds of businesses, they will do it because they love that particular business. And it depends on... You know, the other thing about business is that it's about, uh, you know, I guess making money is the most important thing. And, uh, you know, if you're going to also build your business, you're not going to... I mean, it's rarely that you're going to be able to actually finance it on your own. Yeah, um... And then you know when you, well, but, when you have I mean, but the thing about the is a lot of people start a business is they're actually taking something that's very risky to start a business, and you're actually going to be not. It's going to be a while before you start making money, and so there's something larger at work. It's the the idea of more money yeah, because down I mean, the I road. Do. I mean, I've started my own business, and uh, yeah. <laughs> And then it's been active for about four months, is it three or four months, and I haven't made any. <laughs> oh dear. Well, so, but, but you also probably know of businesses where, where people do it because there's certain people who really got really good people skills, and they sort of want to kill two birds with one stone, and they want to where they can, where they where they really value their customers. I mean, actually like their customers and. If you think of someone in like the service sector, uh, yeah, it depends on which one, but yeah, well, yeah, I mean, but in most cases, I would agree 
but yeah, it is. It is about the nitty gritty of the bottom line. But uh, yeah, and also just making your returns because I mean, well, unless yeah, I mean, you're rich enough to actually to finance, you know, everything on your own. Yeah, I mean, if you, an if you, or any. Yeah, I mean, we really do have to think of specific. I mean, there's lots of disagreement between different management schools as well as to what's the best way to go. <laughs> so, this is true. So, it's almost like we're almost sort of saying, okay, what, what is the best type for this particular style of management? Um, wow. You know, I think we need to prepare this next time because I mean, if we if we don't make it exciting, I don't think people are going to watch well, it at all. Well, the, the sort of people who would listen to this would be interested. The the people who want in-depth socionics. What we what we could talk. Yeah, socionics, you know, you you kind of need to you need to make it interesting and quite, you know. Yes, presentation. Oh, yeah. Yes, the presentation. What? We're talking about something interesting, uh, you know. Well, I think it's been interesting for, for those people trying to think about actually trying to apply. So we are sort of talking about how to apply it. It's not going to be that interesting. Uh, topic without any, without much substance, I guess we're. For the sort of people, to it. <laughs> for the sort, so the sort of people we know, for the few yeah. people, and plus we we can change the topics. Uh, I think mm. the general topic is applying mm. socionics. And yes. yeah. I mean, one of the topics that it shows is, is um, yeah, applying socionics. And another another topic is uh, the uh, manifestation. Of particular sociotypes, like MBTI or socionics types, in film and TV characters. What, what, when, when, what characters are a particular sociotype that are that really epitomise? Let's think of a, a, a typical ESTP character in on TV, or a particular Balzac. What, what what examples have we got? What, what? when when do they what 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 attributes leap out at you? Well, you could talk about you could talk about her now. Well, I'm asking. I'm I'm directing the discussion. So I'm asking the the participants. You see. <laughs> oh, you want to know? Oh, okay. Uh, Katie Sackoff played um, Lute, uh, maybe Lieutenant uh, Cara Thrace. In Starbots, a call sign in Battlestar Galactica Mark II, and she is pretty much an STP. She's uh, she thinks outside of the box. She um, ill-disciplined. All all of the things associated with ESTP. She is, and she even has mm. this other INFJ side, and they also have a bit. She has a bit of a dual relationship with this Cylon called Leoban, who is very INFJ. You talked about the, the, uh, the, um, her, her INFP side. Uh, so where does that... Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so why, why, why is that relevant? Why is it relevant when we're talking about ESTP, that they have uh, an INFJ side to them? Because... What? Well, that's... Because it is. <laughs> because well, I believe it, people, people well, have it's their not, it's not, it, it isn't just it is, because people watching this won't know what we're on about, really. Oh, okay, okay. We're so, talking um, about, I'll just quote, we, what we mean spe specifically is that the, we're talking about the aspects of duality. That yeah. um, if you look at uh, certain values yet weaker elements in each type, uh, now we're looking uh, from a Jungian perspective at the there being 16 functions, so to speak. Four, four main functions, but six, 16 in all. And there are two in particular that are weaker. And the, the, the idea is that there are great um, elements of 
the the dual relation. So it's, it's the type that a an MBTI or socionics type will most be compatible with. Because the, the INFJ is seeking extroverted sensation and introverted thoughts in a another person. And the uh, the uh, ESF, the and the ENC, the e, ESTP will be seeking their functions, in, namely introverted intuition and extroverted feeling. Uh, so, you have, so you're seeking the seeking function. For those of you who don't know, the seeking function it would be uh, for the INFJ it would be uh, SE, extroverted sensation, and I believe for the ESTP it's NI. Yes, it would be yeah. NI. Yeah, so introverted. Yeah. Uh, now, the, in, the curious thing is that, that so under certain states of uh, duress or, or given the right um, circumstances, this particular character uh, reveals some of her jewel somehow. I, and I, I've actually seen this series. You do see some of it at certain times. Yeah, in terms of her destiny. At one point, she made the joke, "Carthway is in her special destiny." It sounds like a cover band. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, when we say INFJ in the MBTI INFJ, so we would say Yasinin. So she's Zukov that has uh, Yasinin traits in her. And an example of this that people might know on the internet is EJ D, who has started to. He thinks maybe turn into an INFJ. He has, um, and I, I believe in the soul image that we do contain mm -hmm. that our jewel within ourselves. Because if if we compare the concepts of the jewel is our, our our ideal relationship, well then so is the soul image is our ideal, but it's also the the other side of us. Of a different sexuality within us, and so if we say, well, if that is the case, then it's going to look like the jewel. And so, uh, and Dario Nardi has examined this, where in the EEG data, the the it will resemble the jewel as the person gets older. If the person is healthy, they will develop characteristics usually associated with their jewel. And uh, he said this held for uh, the MBTI SFJs and NTPs, and the MBTI uh, NFJs and STPs. So it is there in the brain data. Uh, another character. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it has to say, we, we, we saw that in the. Uh, Dario expressed that quite well, that it's the uh, duality. Is present in the brain. You also, mentioned something about how the uh, age, aging examples of types seem to uh, they they, they present more uh, uh, personal uh, characteristics of their jewels as they they get on, so to speak. Yeah, if they're mature, if they are, they continue to personally grow. I know that sounds a bit NF, but you know. Improve, mature. Well, I mean, does it? What does it happen anyway? So if, if they personally grow, does it connect to their, some people will just will remain the same. Yeah. Their life. Oh yeah. Mm. But like, just round out as people become more. So, so for instance, we might say there are certain INT, certain Balzacs out there, who we believe need a bit more Napoleon in them. To round out as human beings, no, we won't mention any, we won't mention any names, um, and we also believe that there are some ESFPs out there who definitely need more INTJ in them in order to become well more disciplined, have more direction. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Elf's gone. Oh, we did say it would only last half an hour. It's not being rude, folks. It's the is unlimited power on his, yes. in his phone. He's he's got uh, 
He's plugged into the mains. And it's, uh, <laughs> his battery's run down. Uh, but yeah, all of those things, looking at that paper from Tatiana is... It's right in the first sentence it says, what is the best type for store manager? Well, people who know Kersey would say ESTJ. Straight away, would say SJ is best, best temperament for store manager. It's logistics. That's what they're best at, logistics. Now, that far. Now, if you look into it deeper, mm. uh, people might say, "Oh, well, really?" The, the, the I would say ESFJ, they can do logistics, but it's not their favourite thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, that would fit Gabin and Sterlitz. Is she always oh, back? You have the floor, Mr. I heard, Mr. I heard. Yes, I heard. Sorry, that's... Oh, it's just my phone. Uh... Ah. Again, what are we talking about right now? Uh, we, we're looking at types. I think Stephen was talking about uh, types oh, yeah. in fiction to sort of make it more entertaining for people. Yeah, so we've mentioned like Kate's uh, sort of mature, uh, the, the maturing types, how they yeah. seem like they're dual. I'm not, I'm not convinced of. I need some more information on that one. Uh, the idea that they, uh, that they develop. And I, I prefer the word metamorphose. But that's just me. You know. Develop, <laughs> development is quite. Um, what is development is rather uh, subjective, really. Maybe we could say that, that each 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 AR and D is becoming more developed. But some might say he's becoming. Uh, Crazy version of his duel. I mean, <laughs> I just like to mention something. I, I, I have been, I, I've been, I have had like excessive flatulence the whole time. <laughs> I cannot stop farting, and I, I do hope that none of it is, has come is it has is noticeable to anybody watching. I just can't stop releasing bloody gas. <laughs> That's um oh gee, oh god um uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, gamma humour dearie me I thought it was bad when two SPs were together but the minute it's two two gammas bloody heck Whoa. Oh. it all comes out we you know it's a good thing this is a Google Google Plus hangout this is like uh, it's 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 <laughs> Oh, it's like is it is it like localized, a it's like localized chemical warfare. God, it, I see some <laughs> flies in the background choking. <laughs> you, 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 flies? They would they would be alive in this. God, if you had one of those um, you know those those strips that oh. test if there's too much methane in the air, you would be right oh, up Stephen, to the what are you talking about? I'll be <laughs> farting too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I should keep this for I, 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 I have been releasing a lot of gas during this Google Hangouts. <laughs> yeah, we were going back to duality. Yeah, Alf yes. is, Alf is Mr. Serious. Yeah. Uh, now, what else? Yeah. What would you say? Uh, Al suggested a topic. Which one was it, Stephen? You thought it was good. Uh, I think it was erotic attitudes, but I, but I changed it. Yeah, that, that's something yeah. I'm confused about, the erotic attitudes. Where, where do we derive that from? Oh, you well, could yeah, talk well, about... Um, you could both talk yeah, about the NIP. You know. You know, with the ENFJs and INFJs, liking someone to have power over them. Someone who's competent, though. The thing is, I'm I'm very sceptical of the whole thing, the whole idea of of, of erotic styles, because I think it's it, most of it is due of imprinting. I can't see that it's it's based on any elements. But in your personal experience, don't you um, 
most subjective, really. You think it's most subjective. How many individuals create this experience? You see. Uh, I mean, so there, there is there is some suggestion that the uh, Hamlet or ENFJ is attracted to certain areas we, we, we may describe as darker sexuality. Uh, I'm not saying uh, necessarily sexual deviations such as, you know, oh dear, I woke up, what is that thing floating in my swimming pool? But if the shoe fits, you know, <laughs> I'm of course referring to Michael Barrymore's uh, <laughs> um, more, more, uh, more lucid uh, manifestations of his alleged sociotype of Hamlet and his um, sexual uh, uh, misadventures uh, involving uh, young men's body. Uh, uh, but um, <coughs> I, I, in my experience, in my in my experience, the uh, you see him does seem to want to be not necessarily controlled, but they want to be uh, they want a sense of direction in their romantic life. Uh, whether or, whether or not this requires uh, the uh, being on on the end of a long strip of leather or not, I don't know, but it can be in terms of the person's personality or whatever it might be. They seem to want direction. That's that's uh, uh, the ser my serious answer. They like uh, they like the person to be competent, and it may relate to it does seem to m mean that their ideal. Uh, Partner has characteristics that would be uh, associated with the more healthy version of uh, uh, Zukov or e e ESTP. But not necessarily. What about what do you think ENTP wants? ENTP, uh, they uh, they want somebody to put some in a little. Uh, cot and to uh, wrap their uh, nether regions in cloth and to sort of treat them like a baby. They want to be like uh, to be cleaned after. But really, they want to be taken care of. Really, we can say uh, because their jewel is uh, similarly their their jewel is a what could be described as a caring type. Uh, SI valuing SI being their jewels program function. Uh, based on, on our experience, that is what a lot of them say. That, oh, I wish somebody would take care of me. Never happier when somebody's looking after me. Uh, I, I don't mean authority over them, but really caring for them. And uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what that relation is called. Uh, pampers. Pampers. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, uh, we can ask Alf about this. Um, so, Alf, in the DCNH yeah. subtype, do the uh, do the creative subtypes, the NE creative subtypes, do they are they also attracted to uh, members of the opposite sex who are very um, caring? So, uh, well, with me personally, it's the case, but I don't think it's the same for everyone. That's what I've been finding. Oh. I mean, the other thing is that you know, and I've also I also used to think that you know, all dominant subtypes would be would be aggressor, you know, or assertive, you know. Uh, but then it, taking Jack as an example, it's not quite the case. Because I mean, he may be a dominant, but then he's a he's an infantil. Wow. And also, Victor has got uh, this, uh, uh, you know, this topic where he basically, he, to him, apparently, it's possible for somebody to be, you know, any, any of the, you know, any of the subtypes can be, can be found in any of the, of the erotic attitudes. So it's it's possible to have a dominant caregiver or. You know. Ah, yeah. But the other thing is that you know, dominants generally uh, are more. They do have similarities with uh, with aggressors. 
Mm. That's other paradox. And uh, you know, I've yeah. told Victor about this, but then he says uh, he hasn't really, he hasn't fully explained. You know, it makes sense though. Oh. I mean, you can imagine someone with FA. Because yeah, I, mean, I mean, dominants are aggressive. Yeah, I mean, like Stephen sees too much FE as overbearing. Mm. Uh, you could imagine somebody being very powerful with their love, and say even as a parent, and the, the child might see it as aggressive as the parent being too controlling. But the, the parent would see it as uh, giving a lot of love. And so, we could say that would be, like, dominant. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, see, I see it as manipulative in its, in its, when it's manifested like this. People having to say, oh, I love you, oh, you're such a nice person, etc., etc. That they, they need to say it, you see what I mean? They have, they have to exude it, rather than it just being a given. Wait, isn't that in... Isn't that just an unhealthy Enneagram too? Because I mean, one of the Enneagram, you know. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I mean, Enneagram yep. twos are seeking love, and then if they don't get that, they mm. they, they then desperately it. try to seek it in others. What? What? That's right. What's more, I mean, is how it, how I I would react to it when uh, people are saying. I mean, it. That doesn't really bother me that much. Ah, so Maybe because I'm a type five, but. Um. Yeah, it was amazing. More when people are okay. I'm, I'm a bit. I try and be expressive. Uh, when people are That's saying, good. "Is there something wrong with your volume?" Oh, not it's sure. quite low. I quite low. I don't oh, know. Yeah, it's I, that think, low. I, I think. I think it might be waxy build-up. Oh, I'll put the camera closer to me for the sake of. Uh, ow. Sang uh, yes. Sanga, sorry, and I will Now the thing is yes, I have this cl oh no, people really don't want to see that. Oh my goodness me. Uh I'm just gonna uh. <laughs> This is great viewing, right? Um uh, is when people are are unknown people, just people we aren't well acquainted with, or Say, oh Benjamin, oh you're such a nice person. Oh, I really like you. Oh, and it's to get an effect. It is manip It is manipulative. You see, that you, you they don't necessarily believe it. That they, they want a certain effect. Whether or not it's true is secondary. They want us. Why would they call you Benjamin? I don't get it. It's, um, um, it's written on the square. He's been, I've been, I've been, yeah. <laughs> ben, why, Benjamin? Because I can't. Oh, there's, there's we're going to talk about you, him. You can, you can talk about him if you want, Ben. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to talk about him with the white head. Well, well we, we met somebody in a. Uh, somebody joins a. Uh, ben, unfortunately, steps into a certain uh, Skype chat room. And there's a person in it who uh, hang, hang out. like a it robot. Was a hang out. It was, it was a hangout. It's a later yeah. in a hangout. And this person who's called um, we'll call um, Arnold B. Krebs. <laughs> also very strange. And he talks one? like this. Hello, how are you? How are you doing, Benjamin? And. Uh, what I found most hilarious is when he wanted to know how uh, he wanted to ask somebody their age, he would ask, "How many years of age are you?" He really did talk like that. Wait, are you making fun of the disabled? I think he was intentionally. I think he was intentionally um, giving the impression of being disabled, but he was. <laughs> uh, he was. Um, he was a yeah, a, yeah, a so mock uh, autistic, a mock autistic. He wasn't really an autistic person. He wanted us to think <laughs> he was. He was strange. Yeah, <laughs> at one point, I believe, from my memory might be faulty, that he opened the door and he said to someone, 
Hello, family member. Hey. Oh, God! Yes! <laughs> yeah, that's not nice. <laughs> that's not nice as well. <laughs> Doesn't that person have some sort of disability? Oh. Well, this particular individual was actually in cahoots with a very conniving. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, you've seen him. Dostoevsky. What well, she was? Yeah, she might have been. She could be anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, we, we we know what she is. <laughs> she's Dangerous. A, um, she's a female, a member, a, a, a female, uh, part of female anatomy. That's what she is. Can I have been see you next Tuesday? She was horrible. Yeah. She she, she was pretend. She was manipulating us. She was pretending to be oh oh he's stalking me. Help! Just crying and all this scat. Right, anyway, if we if we get back on track to we we're talking about F E. Uh, what were we? <laughs> I think we're talking about yeah, D S N H is like sounds like sounds like a disease. Uh, but I was just thinking like, uh, blessing. If you think of a of a robe spear that is a any creative subtype. Do you think that their romance style would be more like the ENTP than the average Robespierre because they value... Is it the NE that is making them... Is the extra valued NE, will that make them more of the type that is more highly attracted towards SI? So... So m more ENTP like in that respect. I'll give my own take on that. I think Blessing is. Um, oh, you're there, Blessing, sorry. Um, I think Blessing, Blessing's. Um, his uh, clockwork has run out. Uh, I would imagine. Uh, Based on subjective experience, when someone is is too exposed to uh, when their introvert extroverted intuition is turned on too much, that they was really uh, I can talk about it in more, more facetious terms. They would like a nice cup of tea. They must be just be brought back to reality. So to be sort of so if they won't be caring for themselves. They'd be so drawn in by their environment. They really need to be brought back into the sort of a safe place, which the the uh, SI, uh, some one who is, is an administrator of SI would would have a good means of uh, reminding them, sort of showing them how you, you take care of yourself, stop being spread in all of these directions, trying to be a, a human. <laughs> a human satellite, yeah, so to speak. You know, yeah. that's just my that's that's just my uneducated way way I I would see it, really. That's good. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, uh, the Queen, Queen Queen talks about uh, the band Queen. In one of their song lyrics, it's it's a miracle. Talks about a cup of tea being magic <laughs> or something. <laughs> it does, does make me think of SI really. It's um. It's just, is, is, is the UK? I have the reason to believe that a society goes through various. A society's nature goes through various guises over the space of its existence. And I don't oh. know how much. Would you say that? That. that, that hmm. Which goes, what goes through various guises? Well, okay, a society has a sociotype, it has a particular character. Now, I would say, I would call the Japanese a very INTP per nature, uh, nation, uh, culture. Ooh, I don't know about that, but just just quickly going back to, um, and then I'll come back to this, is talking about what else, I remembered something in Victor's theory of DCNH, that yeah, 
Um, the type that is more creative, the other person, the other dual type, would need to value SI more, so those like two things are compatible. Mm. So it's like so it might be it might be like a harmonizing subtype, I think, with SI mm. going with more with the NE. So yeah, that would be the case where a creative rose spear might need their nappy changed as much as an ENTP. <laughs> Uh, I think the, the Balzacians that we don't we don't want anybody else's involvement in introverted sensation. Uh, we we take care of it very well on our, on our own. We do not want advice on sort of oh you should do this oh to be comfortable oh you should. It's, it, it seems it seems as very coddling. Yes, it seems as very coddling with people are taking over that side. But I think uh, that would be uh, the same for Robespierre's as well, but... It, it really? Yeah, because, I mean... Uh, mm. Yes, I mean... I don't know why, but I feel the same way, because, I mean... It seems like, you know, I value SI in the... You know... Maybe because I'm a creative subtype, you know, that's why I... Mm. You know, because, I mean... Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you're creating this title, value SI. Yes, I completely forgot about that. Thank you, Sue, for reminding me. That's, that's uh, it's it. one of the reasons why I've got a problem with the quadra values, because, uh, you know, mm. I don't think I fit any of them. I mean, it's, I think it's uh. one of the reasons why people doubt even that I know. Doubt my type, because I mean... I, I, I'm quite... Uh, cr you know, most people think I'm I E I. Well, I'm not sure whether it's most people because I mean it's only, I think it's only Rowan Laplante, we ever <laughs> use. Yeah, apparently he is me as an I E I. Rowan Laplante is a very distinctive uh, T E subtype of uh, Balzac. He has yeah. not enough extroverted sensation in him. I think I'm not saying I mean that in a very nice way. Really? Not even in his beard. <laughs> <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't move enough. I, I think if you put uh, a fictional character called Curtis Avon from Blake Seven next to Rome the Plant, Blake Curtis Avon's like, oh my god, I've never I've never seen such a rigid example of INTJ in my life. Does he have a pulse? <laughs> it lives, but only on paper. <laughs> oh God! Oh, I, so I, I hope that, that that's I hope that they don't develop uh, an olfactory an olfactory element to Google Plus because that would be absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. Now, bless, bless, uh, Alf, aka Blessing. His picture is of a green cloud of gas, which I sh I do <laughs> reckon is from Breaking Bad. Now, if there were an olf olfactory element to this Google Plus Hangout, it would be like that green. You'd be just people would be gasping for breath. It's you have been eating those giant leeks, haven't you? That's this right. Is, this is all. Well, that's 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 only the thing that I tell you I've been doing with them. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is a leak. Actually, I, I've I've actually shaved this down. Yeah, this, is, yeah, this is keeping interesting with like bullshit for all the funny <laughs> all the ESFPs. They like this sort of funny crap, don't they? Oh, this, is, this is a leak. This is this is a, this is an example of perspective, which I'm learning about. You see, look, in terms of perspective, I am smaller than this leak. Now here, I'm uh, the same size as this ordinary leak. Somebody didn't you? Somebody told me that in that in um, where is it? Um, oh bloody hell! Antarctica, the other place, uh, not Sicily. Arctic. In the Arctic, they have giant vegetables. Alaska. Alaska. The long, yeah. long summer Thanks. days. That's that one. I was thinking of Iceland, Alaska. Oh god. Well, Sicily is in Alaska, isn't it? It is. It's. No, it's in the Mediterranean. Sicily, is it Sicily? No, not no. Uh, uh, I don't mean um, 
No, Sicily. I don't mean Sicily as in that that place. I mean Sicily, the place from due south. Sicily. Oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a slight. It's a slight um, um, pronunciation uh, nuance that's quite hard to come across. Yeah, most of it. Most of it. Uh, so I've been, I was sort of giant vegetables, which may have some relation to NI to, to SI or over NI uh, perspective. Um, an SI. That's um, I think Dario, Dario said, said. Don't know if he said it. He said it in person as well. That that uh, introverted sensation is is will tend to will be present in people with artist an artistic temperament. Now what I'm trying to decide is whether or not that is stimulated, or whether it is in inbuilt. Uh, because it, it, I mean, it's what in my in my experience, I would see uh, people who actually study uh, uh, graphical arts or fine arts would tend to be. Uh, um, I I um, SI, SIFE or um, FYNE, in my in my experience, that's that's so so Dumas and Dostoevsky. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Dumas and Dostoevsky. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it, it, the, the question <laughs> it's a question of debate whether or not it helps them to have any kind of level of competence, but at least it gives them the instinct. The artistic instinct is present and. <laughs> it's omnipresent <laughs> enough to cause them to pursue a an area of academic study that is absolutely bloody useless to them, but uh, in in the practical world. But uh, that they they will be very 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 interested in that area. Yeah, my battery is running low, so I think I'm going to. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best to keep it running. We we'll, we will we will. We will We'll read your lines for you, Blessing. <laughs> hmm. oh. well, you, you, you were saying some... I heard you say some great stuff today. You were talking about... Oh, I mean, some, some, somewhere between all the crap. I've got to remember what it was. Um, the great stuff about what INFJs want in a relationship. They do. They want an administrator. They want some. Uh, they want a little bit of guidance. They want to push. They want somebody that will show a little bit of authority over them to say, you know, get out of bed. They 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 do seem to like that. Somebody who will sort of not not ask but demand, but sort of um, pleasantly demand. But the the person that does this has to have certain. They have to be competent, don't they? They have to demonstrate to the INFJ that they are somebody to be followed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I said actually, actually, uh, in in your absence, I I actually had to say I actually mentioned this in uh, in quite detail. It was actually quite difficult to express this point. I said that that that, that it, you could say extroverted sensation, but I would say that that it's um that but directed. It's a certain direction, really. So they they. They do seem to be lacking direction, uh, and it, it 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 would it would indicate that um, certain I, I think the certain enneotypes are I don't know if pushier they're more that they are assertive they're more they like they like assertiveness but so and and I also think alternatively uh, in the uh, presence of the person who by default is looking for somebody who will be assertive that will actually that will actually in, in, induce the other party to be more assertive it's, well that is acceptable you can be as assertive as you want just whatever you but be as assertive as you want but make sure and do it when the plasters are, plasterers are going to be in because I, I want those cracks in the wall to be cleared up by the time the activity is over, and put the uh, hang hang the hang the dog leash up after we are finished, okay? Um, Olga <laughs> might Olga might be along shortly. I've only just now seen her message. Oh. She sent it. 
24 minutes ago uh, saying, well, 14 minutes ago, asking for the link. So she will be turning up. Well, I, I, I did give her the link, anyway. It's, uh... Oh, yeah, we're still, it's still live, isn't it? Yes, we are live. Oh, uh, um, yes. Um, what did you think about it? I mean, it, it has to be like that, because who else would put up with the STP, except for somebody yeah. who, who likes being... Wow, here she is. Yeah. Hello, Mrs. Hello. T. Hi. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> I just have come to say hello. Uh, basically, I had the trouble. I have seen, uh, but I sorted it out anyway. Oh. I was kind of, I was kind of listening to you for a while, but I couldn't get in. So I'm glad now I managed. Uh, it, it was, it's, well, it did become more interesting as, as, it, as time went on. It took a little bit of direction, or, or maybe misdirection. And okay, but I didn't listen too much. If you just tell me, what did you talk about? Uh, we, well, actually, the last thing we spoke about was duality, and how, what, what in particular you're seeing in is is requiring from their dual in in a part of that. I mean, we were particularly relating it to. What's um, romance styles and the, the, the how, how duality affects uh, romantic partnerships? Mm. Uh, I shared, mm, so I shared my experience of, of the, the Yasinin and wh why they seem to be the only kind that can really hope to stand the nature of Zukov because they are quite overbearing at times. Okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm not really too sure. Uh, I, I don't really know this subject about Roman styles. You know. Um, no, I was. I was. I was a little bit confused myself. But really, we, we're mostly just now talking about d duality, mm -hmm. really. Uh, and what we've experienced that many uh, a number of, of you seen in what they ask what they seem to be requiring and we said it's it's a sense a certain person that can direct them that that has this uh, assertiveness and we we, we we weren't entirely sure whether or not it was uh, extroverted sensation whether it was uh, the, uh, it, it we I would say it does seem to be that it's a sense it does seem does seem to be it may be that the other person has a sense of direction that you sending doesn't does not seem to does not seem to believe they have in themselves that they seem to be rather lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We have I think uh, discussed it many times when we had meetups, you know, in London mm -hmm. when we got together. We had a few uh, Balzacs there. You know, oh. and they told it very well, yeah, in, in detail why and that. So basically, it was Colin. Um, often he said that he needs some sort of a kick, you know, and push. Oh. Mm. Is, is it like he kind of um, knows what to do, but there is something missing? So, uh, but Colin was actually Balzac, yeah, and he said Napoleon gives him exactly this push, saying, "Go on, do it, and you can do it," and so on. Um, but I came to the conclusion, you know, that. Although people say duality, duality, but in real life, conflicting type live, live together, you know? That is a That's right. Now, now I, I find that uh, quite amazing that that would work. But on the other hand, uh, well, I, I've experienced certain, I've experienced certain uh, Hugos, I mean, I'm, I'm assumedly uh, Balzac, I've seen various Hugos or ESFJs, in fiction, and I have the impression that they they have things that I view as being very useful. Uh, uh, how can I put it? That uh, that, that that's, they uh, there doesn't seem to be, that, that's, they, that 
that there's something uh, rather lucid, rather um, I can understand their behaviour somewhat. That they they wish to they wish to um, organise things somewhat. Mm -hmm. um, more, in a in a in a more um, in a more active way than I would. I I. I I'm I'm rather lack, lacking <laughs> lacking energy in certain areas. But you know what? Um, I mean, there are different. I don't remember with mm. whom I discussed it or where. But people say that um, if you look at the rationality and the irrationality, yeah, so we can um, understand it very bluntly. If the person is irrational, that means he has got chaos in life, like fear, not, not organized, and this and that. But that's not quite true, you know, because uh, there are some Balzacs which may be a bit chaotic and some are very good organized, yes. Yes. you know. So uh, every time you, when you approach a new person while you're typing, you kind of understand different criteria. You, you take into account that it may be not the, uh, exactly one criteria. Yeah. But what I'm interested in thinking about the fact mm -hmm. if we have got that conflicting type li lives together, yes. yeah, that means there should be something which allows them to do so and to be successful for a number of years because sometimes dual types, you know, fall apart. Mm -hmm. So what is mm -hmm. that? What do you think that helps them to live together and adjust to each other? Mm. I, I'm not sure. I, I'm really not sure. Uh, it, it, I, I wonder. It, 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 I'm led to think: is it routines or something? Uh, well, shared interests. Yeah, maybe it's subtypes. Maybe the, mm. the compatible subtypes, or maybe it's something in any type where they're not. They're not usual. They're not the usual representatives of their type. Yeah. It could be. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So basically, um, I did not yet describe. I don't know if Gulenka has described it. He writes a lot, you know. But um, I'm sure I have seen maybe just a little bit briefly. There was an article about subtypes. I think it was on the 16 types info. No, on the forum. Oh, there's a is Victor's done. A, there's a DCNH explanation on. Um, Wikisocian, and it says it's translated from, and you'd be able to see the original, Olga, it, that it's from, uh, oh dear, Tio, was that, Pra, Nod, Gosh, it? No, 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 Nod, <laughs> no, I'm trying to learn this, so what have we got, uh, Pod, Pod, yeah, Pod, T Rov, uh, we got C Cheshma DCNA. Anyway, it's on that one. It actually was from the original text on his site, socionics.kiev.ua articles types. So if you you go to his site, was it socionics.kiev.ua? I think this article was translated, didn't you? Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you you can read it in the original Russian. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, maybe it's better in the original Russian. But what did you read it? So what is he saying? What well, he's that? saying here that um, with his subtype system is that you you they have to be the subtypes have to be compatible. So for instance, uh, a creative subtype with enhanced uh, NE, the, the dual has to have enhanced SI. SI. Uh, oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, but it, is he talking just about different functions, like being stronger, or how does it does it work? Yeah, well, it's got um, it's got um. So so here we have there's that beep again. Uh, I symmetrical. Can't hear it. I think it's I think it's in your head. I can't hear any beeping. I wonder if it's ah oh, there. Did you hear a beep, Olga? I don't. What was that beep? Right, is it? No, it's it's the mechanism that I set in place to stop people swearing. Oh right. <laughs> so you, you you haven't you, your swearing allowance hasn't been enough this time. Ah uh, okay. We've got we've got um. We've got subtype. I he, he thinks that um if you have two subtypes that are creative, 
then the, the, that won't work because it would be, mm. be you've got two people with different agendas. And Ooh, I wouldn't like. I can't speak personally. I wouldn't want. To, I wouldn't want to uh, live with an, uh, an artist. No, I would. I would be. I would be in an e egotistical conflict with them. I'd be competing. Yeah, but sometimes people live of the same even profession. You know. Mm. Uh, no, what I'm saying, I'm trying just to understand. So basically, what he is saying, if you. Um, uh, what he's saying, uh, Ben, if you are both creative subtype, then you are not good for each other. I don't understand. What yeah, does that mean? Well, I think he's saying that if, if they're both pursuing their own interests, and oh, one's not. Okay. Whereas if, it's, if you have an SI type oh. and an NE type, the SI type would pretty much support the other type in their, you know, whilst they take their creative pursuits. And you, 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 have you heard of the phrase creative differences? Ah. I, I, I think, it would, I think yeah. it would work if they're creative in different areas and the, the, the areas sort of dovetail. But what does it mean SI subtype? I do not understand. Is it SI, we mean function? Uh, yes, yeah, function, yeah. Do yeah, function. Do you mean function. introverted sensing function? That's what we yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, introverted but, So the type with enhanced introverted... Uh, sensing function and then type with enhanced extroverted intuitive okay. function. So if I understand right, you know uh, what Gulenka does, he considers creative subtype, but then he considers uh, enhanced function because I'm just trying to, to understand how does it work. Yeah, yeah, he does it with two ways. He has the, the combinations where he does. Um, and it's like the element, so he has like contact and distance, the introversion, extroversion. Mm. You'll have uh, initiating, terminating for um, perceiving and judging, the rationality and irrationality. So the, the irrational types would be more likely to initiate projects and not finish them, and the terminating projects would be more likely to finish them. Me, I'm a creative subtype because I'm, I don't, I start a lot of things but don't finish them. And then another one was, I think it was another dichotomy was something like um, connecting or ignoring. Mm. And, and I was trying to look at static or dynamic, I think. And I think the dynamic ones are connecting and the ignoring ones are static. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, oh, well, it just gets a little bit complicated. Okay. Shall we just look at the simple examples? Because you said a creative subtype, you said, right? So what do we mean? Do we mean jewels like uh, um, LII oh, or the spear? Oh, and... no, well, this is, well, in DCNH, it just means it, it calls the creative subtype anyone with enhanced NE or ETI. Okay. It doesn't matter whatever type they are, if they have stronger SE or NE than they usually should have, they would be the creative type. Uh, if you have someone with stronger FE and TE than is normal, they would be the dominant. If they have stronger uh, TI or FI, they would be, I think it's normalizing. Yes, but shall we just attach them to the type so we understand it better? Yeah. For example, yeah. I don't know. Shall we look at the jewels? Because we started to talk about them, right? So if you should yep. look about Ruby Spear, LII, and yeah. if you should look about the Hugo, which is S uh, or E S E, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I think in my case, being a creative subtype with enhanced NE, I might need SI in the other person more than the average Ruby Spear. Okay. Well, Wait, as I uh, introverted talking. sensation, introverted yeah, I sensation. Understand. I understand that. But firstly, you said that uh, if two people create subtypes, uh, what, what if your Hugo, if your dual Hugo has got creative subtypes, and you have got creative subtypes? Yeah, your dual. Yeah, uh, yeah. I asked Victor about this. He said that it, it would, it could cause conflict because it's. They're both trying to be creative, and it might get in the way of each other. Creative differences, 
because they have different opinions over what is. Now, I think that can work, but it's going to be quite rare because, you know, you know, creativity is quite individual and you can have just creative differences. There, there are not many in writing, there's not many writing partnerships. Well, wait, we shall not look at that detail. If you shall just look at the way of the functions, because Hugo, Hugo, yes? Um, if it is creative subtype, according to Gulenka, which, what, what would it be, creative subtype for Hugo? Uh, uh, I think enhanced NE. Enhanced NE? Yeah. Why is that? Well, th those are the functions he uses for... Uh, so, it would, so for instance, it would say uh, uh, the creative subtype would be extroverted, irrational, and static. For so those are the three dichotomies he would use, and, and functions he would use se and any. He says is creative. Yes. And then in terms of dichotomies, mm -hmm. extroverted, so contact, uh, irrational, so initiating rather than terminating. And static, I think that is ignoring. Okay. Yeah, ignoring. So yeah. We don't really need, I think, um, personally, I think that uh, I don't really appreciate much what he did about this connective and ignoring. I think it doesn't really change much. It's pretty much attached, to, no, but it's my opinion. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I just don't understand why he how he does it. Because in, in my subtype theory, if Hugo has got a um, creative subtype, right, in my uh, language it calls it subtype, right? So it doesn't matter. Then his subtype on the level of the types is actually um, Napoleon, right? S-E-E. -E. And in this sense, in this sense, um, I can understand that that might be not that good for you, for Robespierre. But if you have got creative subtype as well, yeah, that means your subtype at the level of the types would be ILE, right? So um, if you, yeah, well, yeah. yeah uh, it, it looks like there's two kinds of creative subtype because for in DCNH because uh, you can have those with enhanced SE or those with enhanced NE. Okay, okay, but then to be logical, you know, if you are intuitive type, obviously yeah. you would uh, better develop an E, and if you are sensing type, it's easier to develop as E, right? Yeah. So strong functions, yeah? Yeah, but it, it's, it's sort of like, you're sort of saying like, you can have a sensor, but they've got a stronger NE than they should have. Well, that is... According to the model. Yeah, according to what model? Well, model A or... Exactly. That is a big question. You know, just to say that I know what actually in Hugo is uh, an E very developed. We can say whatever we want to say. Uh, it does not support logic to me. You know, why? Why is that Hugo? And how, how does he actually evaluate that this yoga has got enhanced an E. Do you know? Well, in terms of dichotomies, it would say, uh, uh, are they more initiating rather than... Uh, well, maybe you would look at how much they use transcontextual thinking, how much they do the types of things that an ENTP would do with their NE and say, well, this is not the usual kind of ESFJ, this is an ESFJ that is more creative well, in terms of maybe art or or humor but, or writing. But creativity, on another hand, on another hand, um, creativity stems from both of these functions, you know, uh, because if you look at the uh, pair of NE and SE together, right, so that's what is creative subtype. But again, Anyway, did you read actually my article, or you didn't manage yet? Oh no! I mean, I, I, all I see is I see your picture. Uh, it looks like you're trying to. Is that share screen, or did you load an article? 
Oh, I haven't done anything. Wait a second, my camera is turned off for some reason. Oh no 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 no! Uh, uh, it's a bit dark. No, I I can I can see myself. Do you see me? No. Yeah, we see you yes. now. Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, uh, yeah. I thought you were, were you about to share screen, Olga. No, I haven't done anything. No, no, no. Did Stevens, you see a little something in the top left of Olga I Square? I do. I do. What I do is I'm I'm clicking present to everybody, which I, I assume means that on when this has been recorded and been broadcast, that it means that that. It's absolutely certain that the person who's talking will be seen on camera. You see what I mean? So that's why I'm, I'm clicking present on everybody when people are talking. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, that word clicked because I ha I heard this clicked. It's something clicked. So that's how the yeah. screen is changing. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. Now it's clicked again. Yeah. Okay. So, did I do, so I do this. Yeah. You yeah. people will all see me, right? Yes. So yeah, the introduction to this uh, paper by Victor is that um, he was saying well, we we come across these people that have a stronger function than that type should have, and he was saying, well, why is this? Why are there people who are, are have a stronger function than their Model A suggests they should have? And so, and I asked you before, you said you quite like DCNH. Cool. You? Like I asked you before. Mm -hmm. I asked you about DCNH, and you no, said, "Oh, you quite like it." The thing is, what I need to—it uh, depends how people, what I say, and how people interpret it. The thing is, there is similarity between our uh, subtype theories, yeah. And I do like uh, certain things when how Victor likes, you know, how Victor writes. Victor uh, writes good, but not everything. Not everything, and actually, this NASH I criticize a lot, but it doesn't matter right now. Uh, did you actually read? Uh, did you actually read uh, my uh, theory, my my article about subtypes? No. No. What you could do is, if you go through it now, Olga, then we we can, we'll show this video to lots of people, and they can learn about it as well. You know what I. At the moment, it's kind of late. Yeah, I'm. I'm ah. sorry. I need to go soon. But what we can do, ideally, ideally, we should um, mm. make a hangout uh, yeah. about subtype theory and about my article. But my article is quite yeah. big. It would be good yeah. if you read it first. Uh, compare in your mind with the scenario. Think about the questions, and mm. we can mm. discuss it together, like both theories and so on. We shall compare. I, I have link. Yes, I, I have the link. Yeah, I, I did look at your article, Olga. Uh, I, I I will uh, show. I will actually look. For, I will look at it again now, and I'll show Ben it. I'll show Ben the, the link. Okay. Um, All right. So, if we go look at. We have. Uh, so he he would do. He's got strengthening of the pair of functions. So he would have strengthening of the linear assertive functions, FE and TE. Whatever position this pair occupies within the framework of the social model forms the dominant subtype. Okay, guys, I'm very sorry. It's all very okay. interesting conversation, but <laughs> but now I have done something and we can connect better. So basically, okay. plan, plan the second hangout for the subtype theory, okay? Yep. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. Wow. It's because technical stuff in this hangout. Hmm.